Hey guys, um, welcome back. Uh, so I made that last video, which kind of just gave you a tour of the camper that I made. Um, and in the comments, a lot of people were curious about uh, how it was actually built. What were some of the design choices, um, particularly the lift mechanism. Um, so I figured I'd make another video with just more details about the whole story and um, a whole bunch of different photos of the build along the way. I didn't get a chance to really take that many videos as I was building and I was kind of just having too much fun making the thing, but I did get a bunch of photos. So it's just gonna be a slideshow with a few little videos in between of the lift mechanism um, and kind of the story of the camper. So in this first photo, that's me when I just picked up the car. She's pretty rough, took a fair bit of work, but um, lucky I've got some good friends who helped me out. Here's one of them spraying it. Um, yeah, so I fixed it all up, got it looking good. Um, I built some drawers in the back to start it off because um, I was going to move states. I was going to go up north to where it was a bit warmer, which I ended up doing. Here's a photo of the car when I got up north to Queensland, which is like a northern part of Australia where it's really warm. And uh, it didn't take too long for me to get underway building. So this is like the first step. The canopy's come off. Um, I've done some different sketches and drawings. Um, I studied architecture, so it was really pretty helpful that I could do clear drawings to really figure out how things were going to go together. I didn't have everything figured out when I started it, but um, yeah, definitely a bit of a grasp of you know what I wanted to do and how it was going to look. Um, excuse the... Uh, <laughs> shirtlessness um yeah here's another photo basically i'm just roughing out like how the frame's going to go together what are the general proportions of it um figuring out head height uh, how it's going to look on the camper if you'll knock your head on things um how it's going to attach to the camper and just making sure everything's really square so i don't have any real carpentry experience like just kind of roughed it. I've done little things through the years here and there, you know, helping friends out. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely by no means a, a proper carpenter, um, a bit more of a hack. Um, yeah, here's it starting to come together a little bit more. Basically, you know, I've got the outer frame set up so I know the full proportions, um, what the roof structure is going to be like starting to line up where the windows are going to go in. Um, and again, if you saw the last video, I would have said that I took the windows out of my old fiberglass canopy and I just tried to reuse them on this because um, it's really expensive to buy brand new canopy windows um, for proper RVs. So crazy expensive. Um, so I've cut out the window slots here. Um, the windows aren't permanently fitted here. They're just temporary, just to sort of gauge that everything fits and snap a pick um, and then here we go I'm just starting to build the roof structure in this one so you see there's an outer perimeter of plywood on top of it um, that's the main structure you might have wondered why the the roof is so um, thick as well the lift up part um, basically because it's not built out of steel I needed like a fair bit of width across the span of the roof to make sure it was strong enough um, because if it was too thin, it would start to flex a little bit too much and you don't really want that. Uh, and yeah, this is uh, a little creepy crawly that pulled into the car um, as I was building it. Not uncommon in Australia, it's a huntsman spider. Um, okay, this is the, the roof structure. So I'm just starting to cut out the roof battens. Again, I'm just a bit of a hack. Like I'm just using a jigsaw, a planer, um, and then just made a rough jig and tried to copy it out. Here we go, we've got the roof structure sort of come together. I've screwed it in, um, the battens are there, and there's a bit of plywood on top, which you can see a bit better in this photo. Basically, it's just, I think it was three mil ply, three or four mil ply um, hardwood. And you can see on the front of the camper, there's a bit of a gap there. Um, where I had to bend the ply. And luckily the fellow who lived next door to me, he was a boat builder. Um, so I got some advice from him. Basically all I did was wet the ply down. You kind of soak it. Um, and then you can use a heat gun or just keep it really soaked for a long time. And it makes it much more flexible. And then I just screwed it down. Um, 
Here we go, I'm putting on the poor man's fiberglass. So again, I mentioned that in the previous video, which is worth a look as well. Um, pretty much just uh, PVA glue covered with painter's cloth, and then more PVA glue over the top of the painter's cloth. Um, you just squeeze it out, pretty much like fiberglass to, um, you know, make it look neat and tidy, kind of get a better look. So this is once all the um, the poor man's fiberglass is on and I've done the first coat of uh, like a house paint, which is the white, and I'm just starting to put on the green. Yeah, and this is just in my friend's garage where I was renting. Um, super lucky that they just, you know, said, yep, you can use it near Kyle's Park there and they just let me keep it for a few months whilst I was building it. There we go, it's got the, the army green on it. Um, yeah, just a bit of a mess downstairs for that period. Yeah, uh, here we go. So this is another one of um, the roof structures starting to come together. It's like I didn't have any of this stuff properly figured out. I had a rough idea of what I wanted to do, like how it might work, the lift mechanism, but just vaguely. So it was a bit of like a figure things out as you go, um, just have a crack kind of setup. So here I've got the uh, gas struts on it, but I don't have the timber um, bracing mechanism on either end. So that's why there's my mate and me holding it on either end, just sort of looking at it and being like, how am I going to make something of this? How am I going to make it work? There's another shot of it with just the gas struts on. Um, and uh, yeah, it was time to figure out the end mechanism. So I decided to use, I think it was 21 mil ply because um, it needed to be pretty solid, this timber, uh, to uh, really you know, make sure it was going to hold up that roof structure. Even though the gas struts were supporting most of the weight, this was what was bracing it. So it needed to be pretty solid. Um, but I was starting to get a bit conscious about weight, like so many sheets of plywood would have gone into the thing. So I decided to drill it out. In hindsight, I should have just got it all CNC'd, uh, computer cut, just because it took so long to drill all these holes and I had to do two of these sheets. I don't even know how many holes, there were hundreds and hundreds. And I was just using a spade bit and I went through a few of them because they just kept getting a bit blunt. Um, so basically it's just like a, you could think of it as a oversized hinge, except for there's a little bit in the middle, which is kind of for leverage. It's like a handle point to help lift up the, uh, the camper. And then it slots in and then something will click it shut and then it just braces it, hold it holding it up. You see a lot of um, caravans, popped up caravans to use it. Also those four wheel drive campers use a, a similar mechanism. Um, Except for I think they make theirs out of steel. I haven't really seen too many people make it like this, but it's essentially it's the same system and that's where I got the idea um, from watching the pop top caravans and four wheel drive campers. Um, here's one with it all fitted, looking really good. It's kind of a shame to put all the canvas around it at the end because these um, this lift mechanism is kind of the, the funnest part to build and I think look the best. Um, here we go. It's a video of uh, me and my mate trying to uh, to close it. Um, just figuring it out. It took a little while because, um, you know, it's the first time it was getting shut and uh, I'm not really sure if it's going to work. Um, it was a bit of a massive relief when I found out that, okay, it works. It's going to be able to lift up. It's going to be able to pop down because I've dedicated a lot of time to it already. And, oh, geez, it was yeah such a relief. Thank you to my mates again who helped me out. Um, here we go in this video, we've got um, me, um, a bit longer hair, jumping in the back and uh, basically lifting it up. You know, it's fitted to the car now, um, just with like six different bolts going into the uh, tub. And yeah, so satisfying when I did this the first few times, just creating something that works, you know, especially when there's a bit of a risk that it wasn't. Um, yeah, definitely encourage anyone who's nervous to have a go at building something to just give it a crack because you never know. Um, even if it doesn't work out, you've learned something and you have fun along the way and uh, hopefully it does. It's definitely less annoying, but yeah, I was so, so stoked. Um, it's another photo of it popped up.
on a little camping trip up to Noosa. Internal one, I was just figuring out the pull-out bed system, um, which slides back and forward. So you sleep long ways in the camper, like along the length of the vehicle. It was a bit too narrow to sleep side to side. Uh, but added benefit is you don't have a huge thing coming off the back of your truck. It's, you know, a bit more um, slimline than some of the other four-wheel drive campers I've seen. Started building some cabinetry to go on the inside. Uh, this was just old decking that my housemate had sitting around and some old plywood from leftover from the build. Um, started to do the electrical work too. Luckily, I had a friend who um, wasn't too bad at electrical work and he helped me rig it up, although it was just a real basic dodgy setup to uh, start. And I've since done a much better one since me and my partner started our trip around Australia. Um, yeah, so that was pretty much most of the, the photos of the build process that I've had. Um, I've got a few extra ones here at the end. If here's one of us on our trip, um, you know, we had so many different nice beach views um, and then some other ones we cut out the gas stove in the back of the tailgate and that just sat there permanently with a strap. Um, it's the back door, put a nice map of Australia on it. Um, you can see the switchboard there in the bottom right as well, um, which was the, the better electrical version I did later on down the track once I got a bit more familiar with it because I had no idea how to do electrical when I started it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to leave you guys with some photos of our trip around Australia, just of the, the camper in action. It's been such a fun trip and a fun ride building it. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed and all the views the uh, previous video got. It was a bit of a surprise. Um, yeah, so thanks heaps for your support and stay tuned. Um, the plan is to build a house in the future. Um, and yeah, let the good times roll. Thanks for watching.